Ya said ye is semi AC air quite de and ye a go so a di chibi a te and self of raw ewo or mumu gana na and ed ye a ye po a dum or tree as I did some analysis be about go a ye a power so I was ye and some and ed ye de a chain queen to mess or so over coming home where Jim Renacher say men sell what that jay be brain say na ya put ye and some much as a po a dum or tree and they told a power so be other. Bekris was in the studio yesterday and we thought that he was done with videos. And then this video popped up, everyone was sending to me. Bekris is a chain banku. Chain banku in Ghana means preparing banku. She's chain banku um, in her courtyard and she's responding to people attacking her that she's supporting Mohamedou Baumia because she's poor. That because she's poor, she's supporting Mohamedou Baumia so that they will give her money to buy food. And she answers this question in the most intelligent way that I have ever seen any young person talk. This Belkisu girl, she's going somewhere. She has great skills in political communication. It's totally amazing. Listen to how she answers the question of being accused that, oh, Belkisu, forget about it. You guys sit in Good Evening Ghana studio. You're talking about me because you're so poor. Listen to Belkisu. Under the comment section, will be saying, you said, and you are poor and you are supporting MPP. You are poor and you are supporting MPP. Me cash me a couple of dear money, I'm saying. Be and come in. My own phone was scared. I said, Be and come in. No, and I said, Mantam was scared. I mean, support to MPP, Dr. Alahaj Mahmoud Baumiaga. As I said, Baby, I'm afraid to see Candy are saying, Ah, MPP did good, good policies ever. I'm going to support to MPP. Because me, no, me, dear, Debbie, I'm a cat. Baby, I'm afraid to see you. Listen, your high school, I'm a man. Three senior high school are man. And Kaye, Kaye, your school got that. Three senior high school are man. Kaye, be no dear. And Kaye, it's me, Prince, you're being cabal. You see, I'm supporting you. Mutu Abama, Dr. Alahaj Mahmoud, Baum, your wife. No, I met three senior high school. So, this is how they are. You're being no dear. You're very strong. You're very strong. You're very mopo. Because you're awful. 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 You're This Belkisu girl is going somewhere. She said that, yes, she's broke. And that's why she's supporting a party that has pro-poor policy. That the MPP policies are pro-poor. It is for poor people. It's for people who cannot pay school fees. At um, Asamankesi Junior uh, Senior High School. At uh, uh, Manfi Methodist Girls School. At Presec Legon. At St. Mary's. Those who cannot afford the fees... Because admission letter you may get because you passed your JSS well. But beyond the admission letter and your results at JSS, you need to have cash to enter into St. Mary's. Akufuado says that's no longer necessary. The state of Ghana, the taxpayers' money, all the taxes that they pay will be put to your school fees. And every child's school fees will be paid at senior high school. That you may all go in and learn. The same thing that a rich man child learns, the same thing the poor man's child would learn. What the farmer's child learns, the plumber's child will learn. What the doctor's child learns, the pharmacist's child would also learn. Every child will have the same opportunity. <laughs> This philosophy, this policy is underpinned by a philosophy that the child is not responsible for the circumstances of his birth. And therefore, a child should not be punished, should not be denied critical things by the society because of the circumstance of his birth. Education is one of the most important things of society. President Akufadu decided, whatever it is, whatever they say, I'm going to put free SHS up. I'm going to take the taxpayers' money from the finance minister. You know what he did with free SHS when he started free SHS? The free SHS budget was not with the finance minister, but he sat with the office of the president. Because he said, Mr. Finance Minister, you're going to come and tell me you don't have money for the... No, 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 forget about that. Bring the free SHS budget to the office of the president and let me be sure that you are paying. As the finance minister was implementing the payment, but the budget sat at the office of the president so the president can see it day by day to do his policy. Eight years down the line, all the people around Akufado tell us the same story. That these days, when you look at the president, he's very focused on the campaign and he is exceptionally fulfilled. When you look at him, you can tell that this is a fulfilled man. And I look at him and I envy him a lot. I envy President Akufado a lot. 
Because you look at him now. This is a guy who came in 2017. He's going away today. He goes on the street and the women look at him and they are crying. And they say, we thank you for free SHS. If you're an African president, where they say African presidents are irresponsible, when they come to power, they pack money in Switzerland and they build houses. And you are a president and you're leaving office and the women are crying and saying to you, thank you, Mr. President. Then you know that you are a fulfilled man. Not many presidents will be so fulfilled. There are presidents today whom we know who are not fulfilled. They want to come back to power. They are not fulfilled. Because when the Ghanaian people see them, they don't say thank you. When the Ghanaian people see the president, the former president, for some of them, they don't say thank you. They look at him and say, ah, the former president, Senara. But Akufado is fulfilled. Because whereas people say what they want to say about him, the most ordinary Ghanaian, the most ordinary, when he goes around the campaign, they look at him, they say thank you. It was for this reason that he took up that dance to God. He was dancing to God to say that, God, you have favored me. You have given me the idea to give to these Ghanaian people. Now, please, God, let my party cross the line on December 7th. Let my party cross the line that they will continue to do these things. So people were looking at him at the church two days ago, and he was dancing to the Asante Hine, telling the people of Ghana that, thank you, thank God, and thank Berkis was in the studio yesterday and we thought that he was done with videos. And then this video popped up, everyone was sending to me. Berkis is a Chin Banku. Chin Banku in Ghana means preparing Banku. She's Chin Banku um, in her courtyard and she's responding to people attacking her that she's supporting Mohamedou Baumia because she's poor. That because she's poor, she's supporting Mohamedou Baumia so that they will give her money to buy food. And she answers this question in the most intelligent way that I have ever seen any young person talk. This Berkisu girl, she's going somewhere. She has great skills in political communication. It's totally amazing. Listen to how she answers the question of being accused that, oh, Berkisu, forget about it. You guys sit in Good Evening Ghana studio. You are talking about me because you are so poor. Listen to Berkisu. Under the comment section, will be saying, he said, and you are poor and you are supporting MPP. You are poor and you are supporting MPP. Me cash me and cook the money, I'm saying. Be and come my own phone was scan, I say be and come in. No, and I say my term was scawa. I mean support to MPP Dr. Alahaj Mahmoud Baubiaga. As I say, Baby and be free, no second thing I say. Ah, MPP did good good policies ever. I'm support to MPP. Because me no media debia make up, baby I'm free no. Free senior high school are man.